Hello, you little bunch of cheeky cricket podcast pirates. Welcome to another episode of the Long Hob <laughs> Cricket Podcast with me, Owen. Sat alongside me is Dave. And uh, how have you been, I Dave? just swallowed my drinks. <laughs> 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 um, before I ask you how you've been, which I just did, mm. today we're covering the one and only Rather good. 2020 between England yeah, and West Indies. And Bit weird, really. Only having the one, but... That's if the T20 be. World Champions come to town, you've got to give them at least well, one. I, mean, I know. Should really be three, but... That's all we've got, so we'll be grateful for it. First of all, Dave, how are you, mate? Good, good. A little bit tired. My eye's switching. But apart from that, good. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Is that just when just, you get tired, your eye just, starts twitching? It's just from winking at the girls all day. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie for anyone out there. Not right. Have we got any cricket news? Yeah, what? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to ask back, no, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm good, mate. I've, I've, I've got cricket news. Okay, good. I have the cricket news. Essex, County Champions winners. That's good, isn't it? Didn't they <laughs> just get promoted last year? Well, I think so. <laughs> That's impressive, isn't it? That's like one up in Leicester, really. Almost. Very, very almost. Did they win it comfortably? I well, think they had to rely on why someone else. Think, oh, and when the news comes up, don't ask me follow up. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. just looking on the BBC's wall. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that they were relying on Somerset beating someone, so they won it. So I think it must have been quite close. But that oh, might really? be a lie. But anyway. Yeah. They, do you remember so, when you said that, what's what? his name scored? Took a hat trick the other day. Yeah. Do you remember when you picked two people who haven't played for four years and one of them was banned? Right, so let's get on with uh, it. Yeah, more news. Um, Pakistan have hosted their first... I'd like to say it's an international game, but it might not be. Pakistan versus World Eleven in Pakistan. The T20 series. They've just... That's good to hear, ...finished a winner. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good to hear. Dave's might just dropped from the floor. Listen, we'll hit the big time soon. What? This is a temporary what? worry. I'm going to have to hold it then. Okay. Right. You're quite good at holding it. You're right. Yeah, you're I'm not saying we swap seats. I'm no, saying, like, am I doing yeah. it right? Yeah, you're fine. You just have to hold it. Anyway, um, do you That's want really good to hear that Pakistan <laughs> is playing back in Pakistan. Would you like to hear who's in the World Eleven for the last game? Yes. So, uh, T20 mind. Starts okay. with Tammy right. McBell. Does that just mean you can pick whoever you want? It just means... Uh, Whoever's available. Yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah, matter. With Freddie in it. Ta- <laughs> Tammy McBell. Hashi Mandler. Christ. No. Oh, all right. Cutting. Who's that? No idea. Okay. Duplessis. All right. Bailey. Oh, the Oz, I think he's Aussie, isn't he? Miller. Pereira. I had him in my T20 World Cup. Fantasy League. <laughs> Darren Sammy. Right. Why do you say that with such conviction? What's wrong with that? Well, it's just like, what do you... Well, you've got to make 11, haven't you? Go on. Uh, morning, Morkel. Cool. And that, that Badri. That's all right. Oh, it's not a world it eleven, but you can only pick people well, who are available. Can't thing you? is, so it, like it doesn't say like the best. It just says world just eleven. Says, yeah, so it's like eleven, 11 people from, from the somewhere world. in the world. Yeah, okay. And Pakistan won, so I'd expect that. Really, that doesn't. Pakistan no T Twenty kit looked nice. Yeah. Pakistan have always done nice kits, I think. Really? Yeah, like I think that green's good, and they, it's kind of like a bluey green at the moment, especially that T Twenty kit. They've always just done really nice kits. I don't like England's 2020 oh, no, kit. Yeah, I and think England's ODI gross. kit's terrible, terrible. I haven't seen the ODI kit. Well, you you have, you just can't remember it. Right, but the ODI 2021 ODI. looks awful. Okay. Um, Pakistan's kit's are nice. I might even get one. Uh, right, here's the thing. People can leave comments if they like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. when you're buying a kit, right. do you buy a kit with your own name on? Or is that really <laughs> lame? Would you have to buy a kit with Why a player's would you, name? Oh, and you're 24 years of old. Why yeah. would you buy 20 a... Year f- 20 years of old. <laughs> <laughs> 24 years of old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you buy... It? But d- are you meant to buy it with your name on or a name of a player on? Well, when I was younger, I always used to have my like surname and then the number seven on my England tops because of... Beckham. Beckham. Yeah. But, so, you haven't answered my question. If you were going to buy one now, yeah. or do you get a player on it? You, or do you get a banter name? No, you don't do that. It's like no big one fat Tim. <laughs> but really, which one? I'm not uh, for uh, for cricket. Are you, are you talking about cricket kits or just any in general? I'm not getting. A, I'm not getting a name. But if I had to, 
Are you saying that's what I have to do? I'm I saying... I have to get something printed on the back? No, I'm saying if you brought a kit, do you get it with a player name on or yeah. your name on? Okay, but I wouldn't normally get it with a name on. You just get it blank? Yeah. Oh, right. But if I had to? No, if you had to. I was wondering which well, one. Well, let's I go if I had to. Okay. If <laughs> right, go on. I'd sure. probably I'd stick someone, else, someone else's name on it. Wait, really? Yeah. So last on the list is getting your own name on it? Yeah, there. it's kind of a bit gross. Gross? Not gross, but like, a bit like, nah. Okay, all right. Weird. <laughs> okay, moving on. Well, you, f- you fancy you having your name on your kit? No, I just I just genuinely didn't know. I've never brought a Someone's kit. going to comment on this being like, five minutes in and you haven't mentioned what these <laughs> were. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the game. Who won the toss? England won the toss. They chose the bowl first. Did they? Interesting decision. I thought West Indies chose the bat first. No, no England won the toss. I'm looking at World 11 first. Yeah. Uh, interesting decision. I wonder whether I think 2020 people just like to chase, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you want to do the teams? Yeah, go on then. Set us off. Uh, so Roy, I don't see him in an England kit. Well, you know, he's just been shit. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is losing a bit of. Come on. No, no, no. So, so, okay. So Hales and Roy open up. Route three. Morgan f- four. That's what we've expected. Yeah. Money Bestow comes in for what I imagine is Ben Stokes. Yes. What do you think about Ben Stokes not he's playing? He's been rested, isn't he? Yeah, but what about this whole Durham thing? Like, he's the local homeboy. He's a big star. Like, they sold, sold the tickets on his back kind of thing. Oh, what? Well, you reckon anyone... I was going to say... Do you he's, think like, he's, he's supposedly been all over the posters and, like, he's a Durham boy. That's and a bit bad, isn't it? If you've <laughs> sold the game on him playing and then he doesn't play, that's <laughs> yeah. bad. Yeah. I wonder if any... How many... P- I think people would have turned up and been disappointed he wasn't playing. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, it's not great, is it? And also, the thing is, I um, it's, you could have a worse replacement than Johnny Bairstow. Do you know what I mean? Johnny Bairstow is still yeah, but that's like yeah, that's not cool. If they have, if it's been done on, well, yeah, I don't know how apparently much it's actually been sold on Stokes. Apparently, he was on the, like he was on the poster and that so. And they, they do posters for England 2020 games. Well, you know, like online advertisement or whatever, or like on websites and all that nonsense. Oh, well, all right. I'm all right. sure people were disappointed he wasn't playing, but... Any, anyway, so uh, uh, Josh Butler, wicketkeeper. Who's five? Johnny. Right, five. The big bear. Yeah, okay. Josh Butler, six. Adil Rashid, seven. Willie, eight. Probably one too high for him. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> Yep, very good, Owen. <laughs> right, go on. Um, <laughs> David Willey, Plunko, Chris Jordan, and Tom Curran. You know when you've been tangoed. I think, <laughs> I think there's a few people. How orange is Tom Curran? He's very orange. I want to know what the tattoo is he's got on his arm. They're, well. they're, they're matching. Both biceps are done. Of what? It's not a tiger, is it? I'm hoping it's like a bat. What? Nah. Anyway. There's a few people in this team, I think. I just, I don't understand how they've got this far. I mean, we just watched the highlights together and you spent most of it slating everybody. <laughs> it was bad, wasn't it? It wasn't a good game. Uh, I know England there lost. There were parts of it that, I know England that was lost, good. So it, it, what was, I found interesting, we were watching Chris Gale. Do you want, sorry, do you want to hear the West Indies theme? Just yes, crack that's into. terrible, isn't it? Go on. Uh, Chris Gale. Oh, should I just do the, bit, the big bad boy names? No. Do all of them. All right. Jesus Christ. Chris Gale. You're just going to skip them. <laughs> you know. Oh, I don't Chris know. Gale. And um, let's get into the game. <laughs> Evan Lewis. Marlon Samuels. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know who that Lewis is, and nor do I, but I still have to say his <laughs> you name. You don't need to pause and just stare <laughs> at me. <laughs> and just stare at me, though. Get on with it. <laughs> oh. Read the team out. Uh, <laughs> Get on with it. Uh, Marlon Samuels, Chadwick Walton, he's the keeper. Big boy Kieran Pollard, who is big. <laughs> it's like he's been eating for two. <laughs> Carlos Brathwaite, obviously, um, we've heard so many things on commentary about him versus England. I'm kind of getting bored of it now. Do you think that's why they didn't like, pick Stokes? Ironic that he's going to bowl the last day, do you, do you think that? Well, they didn't pick Stokes. I wanted them to pick Stokes so we could have like a, you know, like some sort of like ladder match with Marlon Samuels out in the middle. <laughs> Get on with it. What's the team? Uh, my man, 
Sunil Narine. Right. Uh, Ashley Nurse. Jerome Taylor. Yeah. And some guy called Williams. Okay. Right. But some big some big names that we you might forget about if you um just a, <laughs> I don't think Kieran Pollard has ever played. He's certainly never played no, Test match cricket for West Indies. Well, I mean, you can't say that. You don't know. I do know. All right. If I Google this. <clears throat> what, you think I'm telling a lie? But I think you're just saying this because... No, he, he hasn't. You know it for a fact. Yeah. Look it up. But I just worry that... Go on then. Go on. You're worried about comments, aren't you? And you're worried yeah, about someone yeah, going, yeah. he's played 25. And look it up. Here we go. Oh, this is really good podcasting for people no, no, listening. No, 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 like right, we're waiting for right, Dave right. to look something yeah, up. Right, very good. I mean, he's never played a time. Right. <coughs> no, I'm still what I don't know is whether he's ever played a one-day international. I would imagine he has, but I don't think he's played that many. If he has, has he played a lot of one-day? One hundred and one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. I knew he hadn't played Test matches, but I've only ever seen him in colourful kits. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. But like that's a West Indies team that I've got plenty of uh, big names in there. You know, uh, Marlon <laughs> Samuel's back, obviously Chris Gale, yeah, uh, and Jerome Taylor, who've all been big stars in that West Indies team. Yeah, in a in a in a past. Yeah, it's quite a strong twenty twenty team, isn't it? Yeah, well, well, but like World West Cup Indies. Champions. Let's be honest, West Indies are the they're the champions. They've got a ridiculous record against England. They hardly lose against England in T Twenty. A ridiculously good record against England. Something like in the, I don't know, in the last 19 games, they've won 14 or something <coughs> really ridiculous like that. Uh, they're very good T20 players. And I just think they've got big, you know, if, you, if you're coming out and you're wielding a railway sleeper, you're yeah, going to well, go, innit? <coughs> we were watching our highlights and Michael Vaughan was, because it was mental watching it. It was like watching a computer game. <laughs> like Chris Gale just stood still and he like half a shove and it was going for six. Yeah. But and you don't seem to have a problem with this. Well, they were mentioning that well, what was it next week or something? Uh, at the end, I think it's not October. Some point, right? It? They, you're not allowed. I don't know what they're stopping, but you're not allowed to have big bats, like those massive rail. Like what? Why? Because it's like the edges carry for six, and that's just unfair, isn't it? I don't understand. But like you don't like the skill of getting it out <coughs> the middle and that ability to time the ball and what he just gets thrown out the window. Like what was that shot that he just didn't pick the bat up and it just <laughs> rocketed it for six? But if you can wield it, like the advantage you get, you still need to hit the ball. This man can it's going to be so heavy. This man can barely run anymore, let alone. So, yeah, but the thing is, if you get massive people mm. who have to have longer bats, then it's they're, they're going to be limited as, they're going to be heavy bats anyway. They're not stopping the weight, are they? They can't be doing it on weight. They must be doing it on like, <coughs> like I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe it's like the middle, they will change the middle. But surely you can just press it more. I don't understand what they're going to stop. Well, maybe like the edges. I don't know. But like, I'm. I'm I suppose you I'm could do it, you know? thickness of the edges. You yeah, could, I think that's definitely some reduce. Uh, that bat that Chris Gale was wielding was great. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know. Uh, that's if like you can, zombie if you apocalypse can, big. You but if I mean? you can swing it, why can't you have it? Well, I wouldn't yeah. want a bat that big. Well, that's no, adva- that's like no advantage. No advantage to most people. Aluminium bat when he's while he's at it. Oh, do you agree with it? No, have it as like the back. No, I mean, do you agree with the ban they're no. bringing in? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You yeah. do, yeah. All oh, oh, right, yeah. If it was me, I would bat with like um with a stump and a ball up against the water tank. It was a, cr- a golf ball, but <laughs> never mind. Same thing. Anyway, okay. Do you remember when we were at school and they used to make us play with squash balls and the little tiny bats on, on mm. those astro turfs, and it just the squash ball. Cu- yeah, it didn't bounce. Just doesn't rolls. bounce generally, <laughs> let alone on. Astro to <laughs> Yeah, PE teacher. He was good, wasn't he? Still got a job. Anyway. Yeah, let's go on to this first innings. You still haven't talked about your first Okay, innings. so... Well, yeah, Chris Gale was just, uh, just a standard, isn't it? Watching it, actually. 40 21. And they were saying, oh, he doesn't have any foot movement. His right foot definitely twitched <laughs> a few times. His right foot sort of just twitches outwards just a smidge every time. And then... Do you like Chris Gale? What do you mean? Well, do you like him? Like, you know, when you watch him play, you like, you want to see him do well? Are you a fan? I like watching him play. You do? He's entertaining. You can't say yeah, someone no, just he's not. like smearing a dr- like half cover drive and it just he's a brilliant flies for six <laughs> over point. Go, that's boring. You think he's a bit like Shia Freedy? No. Better. Like, more of a better 
all round player. I prefer watching Chris Gale. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's better? Or oh, no. Because I, I, I don't know. you don't get the bowl <clears throat> in, do you? Maybe I'm being harsh to Chris Gale. Like, I'm going to look through, look at his stats right now. But I just kind of feel like maybe I kind of put him in that shy of 3D thing where it, like, it only comes off once in a while. That, that, that could be wrong. Well, it comes off quite a bit. So you think he's like more consistent than the likes of Jared Fried or you know Freddie Flintoff kind of thing? He's well, definitely more consistent <laughs> than Freddie Flintoff. Right? Do you want to know what? Oh, he's got a good. Do you want to know, go on? Guess what his average is in tests? In tests? Yeah, forty-two. Yeah, forty-two. That's a good average for an right. opener. That was a guess. That was a good guess. Yeah, it's, no, he's, he's a good player. And like this man barely cared for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but did, that's a bit harsh for me saying. Of course no, he but cared, but. he he's a really good player. That's a hundred tests. I think he's just. I genuinely think he's become really slow at running. And that's why he's called a day to his test match career. What do you uh, what do you reckon his average in um ODIs is? Uh, 45, 37. Yeah, I was going to go in the 30s. I was thinking I'll tell you why because I reckon he slogs more. I think he pl- did him better playing test matches when he's he a, just had to play slightly more technically. He's got a strike rate of 60 in test matches. Yeah. I'm not a stat man here. He got what was his highest score? 333 was it? Uh yeah. Yeah. Two hundred and fifteen in an ODI and hundred and seventeen in a T twenty. Average is thirty five in T twenty. Hundred and seventeen in a twenty twenty. Yeah. I thought he'd have got more than that. Well, that's, that's like it is a monster score, but way more than most. Yeah, but I yeah, I thought he'd have got more than that. Uh it averages thirty five in T20s. I think you're seriously underplaying how good yeah, this guy I am is. A, yeah, he's a very good player. He probably definitely comes off more times than not by yeah. by the by the look of his stats. And I he, think he's he is just ent- got slow, isn't he? He is entertaining. I, he's he's thirty seven years old and like I think he's, he's handled himself quite poorly in some interviews, isn't he? Yeah. He doesn't give yeah, off a good Yeah, he hasn't, perception. he hasn't been brilliant. So, and uh, also, he's kind of like a little bit, I don't know, maybe people are a bit, they put him into that kind of A.B. de Villiers kind of role of the idea of he's just got gone for the money and he's left his team. I think down. he got too slow. You can't play test match cricket and not take singles. <laughs> Can you? You can't the do that. The thing is, though, is that do you reckon West Indies would, if he said... I want to play. Let me play, and we'll like you can build. Like you've got that, you've got br- the other Brathwaite. Let me, cr- let me and Craig Brathwaite open, <laughs> and then you got the hopes come in, and then like that. Are you like, saying do you think they pick him? Yeah, that's that. That's a good top uh, four, isn't it? Chris Gale that like, really strengthens that top they four or five. Pick him. The only thing is, if you take sing- quick singles out. It's such a massive thing. Yeah, but all, all, all he has to do is score 333 by slogging it. I don't even know if my, yeah, my mic is working. Okay. Decent. Let's get on with it because we're going to be here forever. Right. So Gail got 40 off 20 or whatever it was. Yeah, Lewis, who... is he's He the, looked really good. He, he's a bit of he's a quite f- sort of flary, wasn't he, with the way he played? 51 off 28. And then uh, Powell comes down the, down the order and hits, and hits 28. Uh, Windy's make 176 for nine. They they were probably they were in a position to do better. Disappointed, yeah, disappointed with their with their finish with them being 106 for two after or 106 for one after the tenth over, mm-hmm. and then for them to be 175 for nine to only hit 75 in the last ten. You're probably hoping for maybe in that position maybe another maybe 120. Do you think, yeah, do you think 180 is now? I thought, sort of I thought that was competitive. I thought I, I thought that was a fairly good total actually. Like I didn't think it would breeze that. I thought like it would be because I I think anything around one eighty is competitive, and then once you get o- sort of over two hundred, yeah, you're in you're, really you good position the then. You really but one fifty, you're not safe at all now. I don't think in twenty twenty games. Do you want to have a look at the bowling? Yeah, because I've right. Yeah. So Joe Root uh, brought himself on, didn't he? <laughs> well, uh, he didn't bring Bob. himself on. Oh no! Uh, un- oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't bring himself. Uh, Morgan on. brought Rooty on yeah. for the um the second over. Yeah, he's. It's a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I. I just think he's. Why are you bowling a part time off spinner? Well, there's no Moen Ali in this team. Are they resting him or does he just not get put? I think they must be resting him, surely. I thought Moen Ali he'd played. A, uh, he'd be a really good 2020 player. Maybe that's what, what the only way they can get in. Anyway, so yeah, Jerry, what were his figures? 
Uh, he bowled like you know, eleven t- off to his two. All right, that's fairly good. Isn't that's it? quite good actually. Yeah, keep him going. He, b- he actually he v- from the highlights, which obviously doesn't give you great. Yeah. But he bowled quite sort of changing his pace and flight quite well. Yeah. And yeah. he doesn't bowl short. No, he doesn't. He bowls half volleys, that have been, but he doesn't yeah, bowl yeah. short, which get, makes a yeah. massive yeah. difference. I think the only two bowlers, like the only two bowlers who have come out of this, you know, excluding Root, but the only two bowlers that come out of this with any sort of real credibility is uh, Plunkett's. Uh, he bowled well, didn't he? Three for twenty-seven off yeah. his four, and Rashid's three for twenty-five off his four. He got away with some. <laughs> well, one of his wickets was just a straight up. That was long. Hop. That was that, that was that was the worst ball yeah, in the game. And he tried. <laughs> <laughs> and they well, they just try to hit it to the longest boundary and not quite hit it quite right. Yeah. Which is terrible. So but he he does tend to bowl he'll bowl those. So But that was yeah. Uh Jordan's just I don't understand. Like why are you wearing them chains? Well, not that it doesn't bother me the chains, no. but like you were doing what where has he done well? Was it Steve Harmson that used to just smash him in the face? I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah, he had a yeah, he had a chain just bash him in the face all the time. And you just thought, what? Just take yeah, it. I off. always said that with sprinters in the Olympics. Yeah, they've always got massive chains yeah. that are smashing their chin. Yeah. Right, take that off, and that's taking. Like, and Stacey always used to wear his wedding ring. Yeah, but chain. that was kind of. I, yeah. like, I thought it was kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, but um, you know, I think w- you know uh, both Willie, well Willie Curran Willie and Bold. He seems to bowl sort of eighty miles an hour in the slot just to get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> Do you know what I think? Willie, um, Willie Kerr and Anne Jordan all got tapped. Kerr and bowled bad. He bowled bad. He, he, he did pick up the wicket, didn't he? He's sharp, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's, he's pretty bounce, rapid, yeah. but uh, he, he's like, he got know, taken decent. apart. He's not express pace. He lid it up. Who did he lid? Yeah. That was <laughs> quite funny. <It's> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but jo- Chris Jordan. Chris Jordan's I, fast. I don't but, understand what. But like, where's his? He didn't look good today. He's so highly rated, but I've, I've I haven't seen him do anything. Tell you what, where does his high rating come from? I don't know, but we, I, we let's just talk about how much we love Liam Plunkett now. He's, yeah, he is good, isn't he? How old is he? Because <laughs> well, he's been playing forever. Did he? Yeah. Is he just one of those people that started playing when he was like seventeen? So it seems like he's been around forever, but actually he's only twenty seven. He's just like Basil Oliveira. You know, when he started playing for England, he didn't give his real age. Like in his last ever game, he was like fourth yard. Like I need to read some sort of book because I was listening to a, a podcast the other day. Basil Do- Dolavira's story is incredible about you know how long he played for at the toppest level. Right. So like he was playing. He said he was like thirty two or something when he started. I, these are just yeah. in and around. What about Liam Plunkett? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that. But he was like in, in his forties playing for England and scoring runs and whatnot. Yeah. Liam Plunkett's exactly the same. <laughs> But how old is he? He's got to be over. He's got to be thirty-five 30, at least. Thirty-two, thirty-three. Really? Yeah. I think he's got better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. He's got better. He, he used to just bowl he, short. He, he's um. He feels like he's a. Uh, he knows his role in the limited overs. He does. Games he well. does way better. Yeah. Now he's on a plane to the Ashes. Yeah, he's got to be, isn't he? Good bat number three. Bat number three. <laughs> he can hit it, can't yeah, he? Yeah. Yeah. But he won't be able to see him change the bats. I might even put him in front of um in the batting order. Just get him up there. In front of Willie and Rashid. I think he's got to be in front of Rashid, isn't he? Because Rashid's a good player, but he's like a little like a little a little like I think he's a better player. ODI player. Yeah, but he's just kinda of like a player that moves it around. Yeah. Well, Plunkett's just a big he can hitter. Just Willie's a hitter. Murder the ball. Okay, should we move on to England's batting? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. It didn't take... Well, I, I called it. What did you in say? In the highlights. <laughs> so this is out when he was running into bowl. Did you? Yeah. And he just bowled a loopy one outside off stump. Yeah. He's he, just fucking so hit it Roy straight Roy lasts all of one ball. Bad shot. He's, off, he's off having a, a really bad time in England colours, isn't he? Yeah. This year. Off of, off of a, an easy ball. <laughs> off an easy ball. And he's just... Chipped it straight. Well, he didn't chip it, but it's sort well, of like it's a, it's a, it's a loose drive. Wise, yeah, it? it's a point which is poor. Yeah, he's he'll uh, you'll play the ODIs and that's fine. But and then when we were watching Hales, it was just like this is why he can't <laughs> play Test match cricket. Yeah, that hoik, he looks so weird. That weird hoiky he plays over on the leg side. I think his arms are quite long. Yeah, he's and so he's, gangly and he's like wristy. So the thing it is, looks though, he's, really he's in my Asher squad, which is weird. <laughs> 
He is. That's the that's the problem. I don't want to get into the Ashes squad. David I Milan mean, had a we're, we're, David Milan I had, had, I had, had a quilt it. on today. I think we're getting into it too much. Yeah, talking David about Milan had a quilt on. Yes, it's cold. It was raining. What do you want him to do? Be in a vest? <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Not a match. <laughs> right. Anyway. anyway, yeah, Hales back, back with a blast. Um, he did really well. 43 <laughs> off 17. Yeah. Similar to uh, what we saw uh, Gail do, really. Just kind of, though Gail's shots. Put those two next to each other and Gail looks so prettier, doesn't he? He, he looks, looks he's so just much so much better. more compact. Yeah, just, just Hales looks, is like... Hales is not nice to watch. No. They're no, not, not pretty, at like, all. Chris Gale's shots are like, yeah, like wow, he, that's, yeah. that's great. But Hales is a bit skanky. Joe Root's a weird one, isn't he, for playing 2020? Yeah, how does it I work? I, yeah. Like, how many I shots can you play off your legs? <laughs> 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 I don't know how much different he, like, how many different shots he plays from test matches. I think he yeah, just yeah. tries to play the yeah. more often. So I don't. He, so he's all is right, he someone that needs the power hit, or can he? Is he so good he can play that natural game? I think he just plays proper cricket shots. He just tries to play more aggressively. He like I don't. I can't see him coming down the pitch and like hoiking one from outside off stump. Well, what about uh, Morgan? Who's had a real stinker in the last. What did they say? Six games. He's got eleven, 11 runs. runs. So including today's game, that's seven. And uh, he got seven games for thirteen. That's awful. He's averaging under two. And he. That's weird, isn't it? So when you're in a massive dip of form, yeah. your go-to shot is the reverse sweep when they've got a man there for it. <laughs> Thing is, though, is that, what's he thinking? Is that his shot, though? Not when the man's there. <laughs> yeah, That's like, well, my shot's a slog sweep. Like, well, they've put a man deep square. But it's my shot. But, oh, got out. But, well, why didn't he get to 20 first and then try and do it? Well, maybe he felt in the pressure to, to do That's that. You know, he's, he faced seven balls for his two... Do measly runs. Um, he does play it well, and I don't actually think he hit that one that badly. He no. just hit it quite flat. Yeah, he just hit it at, at yeah, the field. At the field they put there. He's, he's a quality player. He'll, I think he is. I just think he's in a bad okay. bit of he's form, just, isn't he? He's just been in a bad bit of form. I think he got a little better maybe in the last few months. Do you months think people can ODIs. overplay? I think he's been playing a lot of 2020 cricket. Yeah. I think it can just, just he's play been too much. Out. Been found out. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> How has he been found out? <laughs> Go on. Well, you, you said, said it. No, I didn't mean it. What do you mean? Any... He's been found out. Go on. What's his weakness? You're, you're asking the technical it. side. I did not mean it in <laughs> any sort of. I uh, just a bit of banter between me and the boys. <laughs> right. Who's who's next? So Butler and Bairstow. Nice to see B- Bairstow back in the team. He's so good. I don't know how he doesn't ever fit into every England team. Yeah. It's crazy. I was like, can't fit Bairstow in. But yes, you can. When will the time where we just end up opening with Bearstone and Test cricket? <laughs> when will it happen? Oh, I hope it never does. <laughs> but um, so Butler and Bearstone make, you know, decent enough. Oh, what, are we going to talk about Root's dismissal? Well, they're all just shocking. some dog off spin, oh, and he's yeah, just yeah, bottled yeah. the drop. It's like, oh, oh no, yeah. it's like Papara can't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> just chips it straight to short cover. But, but it's like it's like Hales is, like. Hales is, yeah, but hey, he was trying to play some. He danced around like a bowler who bowls like seven yeah, miles he, per hour. Yeah, but he did it. He done it like four times and hit it for four. So, yeah, Joe Root was just sort of like half decided to do it and then decided not to halfway through it. And that's kind of about it. And but I don't know how Butler got out, but he didn't do that well. Yeah, I can't really. You know, Butler and Best though, thirteen and twenty-seven. They've just tried to save it towards the end. Yeah. But and then, then we've left ourselves, yeah. what was it, 24 off the last over we needed to get? Yeah, with one one or two wickets in hand. Rashid, was. that was pathetic, the way he got out. Now, like, I think he was trying to dabble it down to third man. Oh, like, yeah, he wasn't trying like... to dabble it down to third man. He just got done for pace and it just smashed him on the glove. And no. then, so England lose pretty emphatically, really. I'm saying Carlos Brathwaite, you know. I was saying this when a, we were watching about... the highlights. How many bizarrely, like... Normal all rounders of West Indies. You didn't call them normal. What do I call them? I think it was like below average. You said <laughs> no. I didn't say below average. <laughs> I didn't say, but but like weirdly, like yeah, medium yeah. pace and then sloggers with the bat. They've got loads of They've them. Got loads of them. Yeah, it's weird. They just c- they churn them out. That's just what they do. Know. Have a lot though, don't they? No, I think um, m- maybe their bowlers just not a bat. Do you know what I mean? Like Taylor. Can I bat. think 
Carlos Brathwaite obviously is probably an all rounder, but better with the. I don't even. I don't even know if he's better with the bat or the ball. They've got a lot of all rounders. But he's yeah. The bowl like t- they got big people as well. They're all tall and bowl medium pace. So Carlos Brathwaite, with his his figures were three for twenty off three point three. That's good, isn't it? That's incredible. That's really good. And he was joined with that with Williams, who I hadn't heard much of before. Three for thirty five off four. And then did West Indies win it or did England lose it? Well, Narine bowled well, didn't they? He did bowl really well. And he he picks up two for eighteen off four. And if you have, and if you're going for under, if you're going at three and three quarters and over, yeah. Then That's incredible. over four yeah. overs, you know you, you, you've you just done enough. You're killing the game, aren't you? And especially with a score like 170, you know, it's not massive, but you if you bowl like that <clears> for four overs, then you put your team in a yeah. really good position. And he he bowled really well. And England just kind of, they were kind of a bit stuttery, weren't they? Lost wickets in clumps and kind of just couldn't really push on from that because they lost wickets I think wickets West in Indies won that game. They bowled West Indies really are a really well. good T20 yeah. team. You can... Like it's no fluke for them to win the T no. Twenty World Cup. No, I'd they agree. are actually. Their fielding was poor. Yeah, Their fielding was poor, and yeah. they'd expect yeah, themselves that, to what, do better than what that. What was that boundary? That was hilarious. Some some of them were really what one. It was Butler. Hit it, and the guy slid, and he just oh, let yeah, it go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he left it. it. Like, what? I don't know if he thought there was someone on the boundary, but there wasn't. <laughs> 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 but yeah, West Indies played well. Not really bothered about England losing the 2020. Yeah, and it's only one, so it's kind of like it's hard yeah, to kind I of know. get behind I would, it. I would much prefer it, was a series, it to be three. Yeah, you'd and say. Then you'd, but hey, West Indies won that. Is it? A, is it oh, it's not, listen, I think if you get beaten by the best T20 side in the, in the world, then fair enough. How, how, I think that was quite comfortable, that win. The Windies? Yeah, I don't think England were really... Apart from the start we had, and we, you're like, we, look good we should with win Hales. this, but... After sort of we lost, after Root got out, it no, never... The thing is, like, if you look at them on paper, Morgan Butler and the Big Bear... Oh, no. On they, paper, we've got a really good... We always should, have a really good team. <laughs> they they should be able to win games single-handedly. Well, they, I think that they do, don't they? I think we were always we in had, it. I think we've got quite a few people in bad form with the yeah, bat. Yeah, Butts maybe, Morgs. Butler, Morgan. Best, I need some runs, don't I? Bairstow was in really good form, but lost it. Well, we just, just don't bottle, we don't it? bat him high enough, so he just wastes it. Uh, Roy can't bat for shit. Roy's at the in moment, terrible form, and they and they're batting Rashid as an all rounder at the moment. So there we go. Pointless. Get us involved. When's um the ODIs? When do they start? So the ODIs, which we will be covering live here. How do you think? Not live. England not will live. fare in the ODIs. The it's weird, isn't it? West Indies. We admit a really, really good 2020 team, but how m- much of that do they lose in the ODI format? Good question. I don't think they're going to lose that much from it. I think they'll give England a really good mm. go. Mm-hmm. I think it's much, it's more in England's favour, the ODIs, but they could easily win the ODI series against England. There's um, there's four day night games. That's good, isn't it? Four out of five. That's like kind of cool. Day night. But we're playing in, in September, October. So what do you expect? But well, yeah, this runs on. That's mental. On until the 29th That's so of late. September. Is this happened before? <laughs> That's so late. No, we'll be welcoming. We'll be having Christmas dinner with them at this rate. Well, you know it's I mean? just they're just going to be night games. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I I'm I'm guessing that West Indies will give England a real push, and they, you know. I would I wouldn't be totally surprised to see a three two win. West no, Indies. I wouldn't. I think it's really in the balance. Actually, I'm not expecting England to win. I think we'll have, have some really good games. I think we'll have some really good games. I do. Uh, the, and the first game is on the nineteenth. When's so that? So once this finishes, the nineteenth is Tuesday. Right. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. This is so late on a on a, a very early on a Sunday morning we're recording this. Yeah. So uh, predictions. I think, oh, I think it's going to be three two. I can't decide. I'm, th- I'm going to go England three two England. I think England win three yeah, two. Okay. Well, I'm going to go four one England. Four one England. Well, I can't choose the same as you, can I? No, but you would. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to uh, back West Indies. Okay. Yeah. Well, do, you want, do you want my Ashes prediction? Five in Australia. Oh, I've got no problem. 
saying that. You're an idiot. We're not doing that yet. Anyway, um, it's time to wrap it up. 35 minutes, this podcast. That's all right, isn't it? That's quite quick. Although it's a shorter form of the game. So well, it's a short form expect? of podcast, isn't it? Exactly. If you've enjoyed this one, give us a like. If you're new around here. Hit the subscribe button. A thumbs up. Little bell. And all that. You know the deal. Comments are much yeah, appreciated. Keep, yeah, keep them coming in. Less harsh on me, please. I feel like. Oh, you're so close to the mic. You're yeah. speaking to people's soul. Yeah, but they like it. I wonder how many people listen to the, when because this we if you're new, this is we always argue at this bit. What do you mean? Like you just start going. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's the ending, isn't it? Yeah. Got to tell people anyway, how much we yeah. appreciate them tuning we'll, into the podcast. We'll, we'll speak to you because I do. I do. I appreciate it. You're Thank you for tuning. You're in. We really you're do. In people's souls Thank right you very now. much. I hope you tune into the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be we'll quiet. try and improve content. I mean, we're working <laughs> all the time. Right. We'll see you on Tuesday. See you later, guys. <laughs>